Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In the second clip in a series, we outlined the initial step in baggy web troubleshooting. That is, to be able to see and or measure it. Our eyes are the very best troubleshooting instrument for many problems and bagginess is no exception. Still, we can improve our view by a few simple best practices techniques. First, it is best to take the web out of the machine and lay it on a flat surface. This is helpful because it removes any machine crookedness from the reed. This is helpful because it removes tension that can pull some apparent bagginess out and make it harder to read. Second, control the lighting. Overhead lights with shadows is not helpful. Find an area with uniform lighting that is not very bright. Low angle side lighting is best. This is done most simply by having a partner hold a strong flashlight or lamp either on the side or perhaps the opposite end. While some go the extra mile and construct a dedicated inspection booth such as seen here, a flat aisleway is something that nearly everyone has. Just make sure to not get in the way of forklift traffic and be safe. You can drag the sample from one end or use a push broom to try and flatten it as best as possible. Since the sample, usually a few meters long, will be on the floor, you will need to get down on your hands and knees to see best. So what are we looking for? Shapes as we discussed many times in our Web 101 class. Common shapes include baggy lanes, baggy center, baggy edge or edges, and so on. We will use the shape tool to screen candidates. By this, I mean that the shape of the cause must resemble the shape of the bagginess as seen here. One other trait is helpful. That is, to be able to flip the shape upside down in your mind. An example is the pairing of smiles and frowns. Another example is the pairing of tight and loose. Looking at this figure, one could make the obvious claim of baggy lanes. However, I propose that an equal and perhaps even better view is that the lanes are tight and that is the de defect that pulls up looser lanes into bagginess. The tight lanes are the smaller fraction of the web's width and that what might be the difference that makes the defect. Let us now talk about measurement. There are two equally valid definitions of bagginess, both involving profile that is a variation of something across the web's width. This something could be tension profile variation or length profile variation. People who are familiar with mechanics will easily recognize that we are looking at the world as either stresses or strains. While tension or stress is the most intuitive, length or strain may be the more useful as we will see. In any case, they are mirror images of each other. Where the web is tight, the web is relatively short and vice versa. These two definitions will both be used to quantify bagginess should there be sufficient need to bother. The most intuitive measure of bagginess is tension profile. Unfortunately, there are only a couple of instruments that can do this. The first, shown here, is an invention by FP Innovations that I detailed in an earlier Web 201 clip. It has a resolution of about one inch or two centimeters because that is the width and spacing of the individual load cells. It has extraordinary sensitivity and repeatability. This invention, however, exists only in one place on Earth. But anyone can make use of the testing service if they send in a suitably sized wound roll for analysis. The other invention, not shown here, is a patented pulse time of flight instrument invented by the Web Handling Research Center. An advantage of this one of a kind instrument is that it can work with smaller widths and does not require wound roll lengths. A disadvantage 
is that the Web Handling Research Center is not really well set up for commercial testing. While tension profile is most intuitive, length profile is probably the quickest and easiest to measure. As given in the details instructions here and in my Web 101 class, you must first make careful perpendiculars to the cut edge, perhaps 10 meters or yards apart. Then you cut up the sample up into as many strips as you have patience for. This is a very time-consuming process at best. Yet, it works for almost all materials except for the extremes of stiffness such as tissue and foil. Also, it can be done almost anywhere where there is a flat aisleway. Seeing is the 80-20 of baggy web troubleshooting. In other words, 80% of the utility was only 20% of the time and expense. It may be all you need to troubleshoot the root cause, as we will detail in the next dozen case histories. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my Plant Practical video series. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will discuss the most common root cause. But only if you promise not to jump to conclusions.